Okay, Todd Merrill, what have you done? You've made me appreciate these gold pens because of your appreci appreciation of them, your passion for them. Um, I guess I've liked them. I've had a collection of them before. You sang their praises as much as you have, but... Um, and I do have more than I need. But this is the one I bought uh, the other day that had those interesting uh, year dates um, inscribed on them. And the most recent eBay one of these was this one. And this was a buy it now for whatever dollars and they said make an offer. And normally I don't do that. I'm from Minnesota. When someone tells me how much a pen is, that's how much it is, and that's what I pay. But not everyone is from Minnesota, and they expect a little bit of dickering. That's, And I don't like doing that, because I'm Minnesotan. But um, it said make offer right there, so I made an offer, and they accepted it without a counteroffer, without all of that back and forthing. Um, usually, just for so you know, when someone says, what's your best offer? I give the best. You know, I don't give the second best and then up it. I give the best offer and I walk away. Um, or I might buy it for the entire amount. But I don't d like this back and forth thing. It just, it's rude, I think. Especially when you say best offer. If you said better offer, that's, that's a different kettle of fish. Anyway, so I made a, an offer. It might have been the best offer. Uh, it may have been a better offer, but it was an offer, and I made it, and I got the pen. And uh, it is much nicer... Uh, than I expected it to be. Um, it had a screwed up clip, which I straightened out a little bit. It still can, it still has this sort of, you know, rather than this graceful ski jump that it's supposed to have, it sort of has a little bump right there that isn't quite flattened out. But it has this magnificent nib. And it's real, really, really long tines. Let's see if I can make you see this. Come on. We'll do it this way. No. How are we going to do it here? We're going to zoom in. You see those very long tines? It's really a, a, a neat springy nib. But it's very thick. The gold is very thick. So it takes a lot of pressure to make it split like that. And um, it's it's curious. You would you would think it would splay much more readily than it does, but it takes a little bit of effort. The problem is, is it does that. It railroads a lot, and I think I don't know how I'm going to fix that because it's very tight up against the feed, but. The feed is here, and the nib is here, but when the nib splays, because it's so long, you know, there's this gap that appears, and the capillary action doesn't work. And if I move, normally when that happens, I, you know, move the feed up a little bit, set the nib a little bit back, or somehow make it work, but then the nib, the feed, hits the paper, and... Right now, it's really, the, the feed is almost pushed up too much. Um, because you can sort of see the feed when you're looking down at the top. So there's going to be some tweaking, or I'll just have to draw very slowly. Calligraph very slowly. But, again, it's really an interesting nib. And this is why I love pens so much, because the nibs are so different from each other. And this one... This one wants abuse. This one loves to be knocked around a bit. And it, it 
it requires me to use a lot more muscle to make it work. And uh, it's just a very curious nib. So a nice big number four nib on a Greek key patterned pen. And this is a number five size pen. I wasn't sure when I when I got it. It felt like a number five size pen, but and in fact is a number five size pen. So and it has a stub nib of a more modern pen, uh, the signature pen, but it's really quite lovely. Um, at some point, I may sell this pen with the big nib. Um, the, the pen itself, the, without that, and I will fix the clip so it will be prettier than it is. It has a little bend in it. But this is a this is about as nice a an example of this pen as you can get and it has this great nib uh, but it doesn't have an engraving if it had an engraving right there it would be mine let's see if it said billy if i could put that on that pen yes 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 i know i could go to the the jeweler down the street and have them put Billy on it if I really wanted to, but I like the original name. What kind of nib is in here? Is this another four? Come on, Pierre. Oh, it's another... No, what is it? Where's my magnifying glass? Look at my hands. Can't take me anywhere. It is a four. I'm looking at it again just in case. Four. Are these caps interchangeable? I'm doing that. Yes, they are. Um, this four that's in Billy's pen is much. It has big long tines, like the other one does, the no-named one. Come on, ink. I'm dipping in water here. But this one splays really quickly. This, is, this works the way you expect it to. This one you have to really, you know, work out at the gym for a week or two before you, before you sign your name with this one because it does require more but you can't write fast because of that skipping that railroading so I've got to tweak tweak that and see if I can make it any better but anyway the newest pen right there bye